This is purely a speculative discussion, and I want to be very clear about that right from the start. No one has reached out to me with insider information, no deals are being quietly whispered in my ear, and I'm not pretending to predict the future with any kind of secret knowledge. Yes, I've spoken with people from Aptera before, and yes, I've interviewed members of their team. I'm also very aware that wearing an Aptera shirt makes it look like I'm somehow officially connected to the company. I'm not. This is simply an idea I think is worth putting into the open, because sometimes the most interesting conversations in an industry start as uncomfortable or unconventional thoughts that people are afraid to say out loud. The reality is that Aptera has struggled to close a major funding deal, most recently with U.S. Capital Global, and that has been deeply frustrating for a lot of people who genuinely believe in what the company is trying to do. The reopening of crowdfunding, at least from my perspective, feels like a signal that a massive last-minute investor check isn't just around the corner. If Aptera were days away from locking in a large institutional backer, the urgency to go back to small investors probably wouldn't be there. And that's tough to watch, especially when you zoom out and look at how much capital has been poured into EV companies that are still losing money, but continue to operate because investors believe in their long-term vision. What makes this even harder to accept is that Aptera isn't chasing efficiency as a marketing slogan. Efficiency is the entire foundation of the vehicle. And when you look across the EV industry, one company stands out more than almost any other when it comes to an almost obsessive focus on miles per kilowatt hour, energy density, and extracting every possible bit of range from a battery. That company is Lucid. For years, people have predicted Lucid's collapse. First, it was supposed to happen in 2022, then 2023, then 2024. And yet here we are watching Lucid prepare to deliver a new, highly efficient, highly practical vehicle that pushes their technology even further. Every time the narrative shifts to this is the end, Lucid finds a way to secure more funding, keep developing, and keep refining their engineering. Whether people agree with where their money comes from or not is a separate debate, but the fact remains that Lucid has access to capital on a scale that most EV startups could only dream of. What's important here is not whether Lucid is a perfect business or whether it's the best investment opportunity. Even people who admire Lucid's engineering will admit it's not a company you casually throw your life savings into. But despite that, Lucid builds genuinely impressive vehicles, and they've cultivated a fan base that deeply cares about range, efficiency, and technical excellence. That fan base understands that range isn't just about stuffing a bigger battery into a car, it's about using energy smarter. That's where the idea of Lucid and Aptera crossing paths starts to make a lot of sense. Lucid has already demonstrated efficiency numbers that most automakers haven't even come close to touching. Hitting 5 miles per kilowatt hour in a production luxury sedan is not normal. And what's even more telling is that Lucid didn't stop there. Almost immediately, the conversation shifted to how they could push that number even higher, 6 miles per kilowatt hour, beyond that, always chasing the next leap. Now imagine what happens if a company already thinking at that level gains access to a vehicle platform that's fundamentally built around extreme aerodynamic efficiency. Aptera isn't talking about incremental improvements, they're talking about numbers that sound unrealistic by conventional automotive standards. 10 miles per kilowatt hour isn't just a bragging point, it's a complete redefinition of what an electric vehicle can be when you stop designing it like a traditional car. From a branding perspective alone, this feels natural. Lucid wants to be known as the efficiency leader. Aptera already is, at least conceptually, and is incredibly close to turning that concept into a mass-produced reality. Aptera is not years away from production in a vague theoretical sense. They are months away, assuming funding is secured. That's a critical distinction. There's another problem Lucid has been grappling with, and it's one that keeps coming up again and again affordability. I personally love Lucid's vehicles. I've spent time in them. The comfort, the seat adjustability, the storage, the attention to detail, it's all genuinely impressive. But admiration doesn't magically turn into purchasing power. 
There are a lot of people who love Lucid's engineering and simply cannot justify spending that kind of money, no matter how good the product is. Lucid has acknowledged this by talking about future more affordable models, but the reality of the EV market is brutal. Lower-priced vehicles are much harder to make profitable, especially when you're starting from scratch on a new platform. Aptera, on the other hand, has been building its entire supply chain around the idea of cost efficiency. Their bill of materials targets are dramatically lower, not because they're cutting corners, but because the vehicle itself is simpler, lighter, and fundamentally more efficient. If Lucid were to acquire Aptera outright or form a deep partnership, there's an obvious opportunity to combine strengths. Aptera gets the financial stability and advanced powertrain expertise it needs to reach volume production. Lucid gets a radically efficient platform that could serve as an entry point into a more accessible segment of the market without forcing Lucid to reinvent everything from the ground up. It's easy to imagine Lucid integrating a version of its compact, high-voltage powertrain into Aptera's platform. Aptera's current motor choice makes sense for a startup. It's proven, available, and cost-effective. But Lucid's expertise in power density, efficiency, and voltage architecture is industry-leading. Even a toned-down, lower-performance version of Lucid's technology could push Aptera's efficiency even further without overwhelming the vehicle with unnecessary power. And that's before you even talk about aerodynamics. Aptera has effectively solved one of the hardest problems in vehicle design. There's only so much you can do to improve airflow around a traditional four-wheeled car. Aptera sidesteps that limitation entirely. Once you reach that level of aerodynamic optimization, the next major gains come from the powertrain and electrical architecture. That's exactly where Lucid excels. Then there's solar. This is where things stop being a nice bonus and start looking like a long-term inevitability. Aptera isn't experimenting with solar as a gimmick. They've invested in tooling, manufacturing processes, and durable multi-curved solar cells designed specifically for vehicles. These aren't fragile panels slapped onto a roof for marketing purposes. They're engineered to survive heat, hail, and years of real-world abuse. Lucid already sweats the smallest efficiency details, from battery pack geometry to wire thickness. It's hard to believe that a company this focused on energy optimization won't eventually integrate solar in a meaningful way. Developing that technology entirely in-house would take years and enormous amounts of capital. Partnering with a company that has already done the hard work just makes sense. Zooming out even further, this isn't really about Lucid or Aptera as individual companies. It's about where the vehicle industry is going. There will never be a moment where engineers collectively decide that efficiency has been solved. Every year, teams are tasked with shaving off weight, reducing drag, minimizing losses, and extracting more range from the same amount of energy. That process naturally pushes designs towards lighter vehicles, fewer wheels, and alternative energy inputs like solar. As efficiency climbs from 5 to 6 to 10 miles per kilowatt hour, solar stops being symbolic and starts being impactful. 30, 40, maybe even more miles of free range per day becomes realistic. That fundamentally changes how people interact with their vehicles. Aptera needs capital. Lucid has access to capital. Lucid needs more affordable pathways into the market and more ways to differentiate on efficiency. Aptera brings exactly that, along with intellectual property that would take years to replicate. Whether that collaboration takes the form of a partnership, acquisition, or something in between almost feels like a technicality. At the end of the day, I don't care what the structure looks like, I just want this kind of vehicle to exist. The industry doesn't move forward by playing it safe forever. It moves forward when companies recognize complementary strengths and decide that moving faster together is better than moving slowly alone. To me, this isn't a wild fantasy. It's a practical conversation that feels overdue.